What's up guys, my name is Electro, and this is going to be your all-in-one ultimate guide to Brand Jungle. I've been playing Brand Jungle for a couple of years now, but after Riot buffed his ability to jungle in patch 10.6, I decided to main him. I'm currently the best Brand Jungle player in North America, and at my peak I was the second best Brand Jungle player in the world. Admittedly, there isn't much competition since Brand Jungle is extremely underplayed, but for those of you who are interested in learning this unconventional jungler, this video will supply you with all the knowledge you will need. I'm going to break down this video into a bunch of different sections and place the timestamps in the comments. If there's a specific thing you want to learn about the champion, you can just skip to the different parts of the video. Without further ado, let's get into the guide. Brand Jungle has a lot of key strengths and weaknesses, and in order to make the most of him in a game, it is important to understand what those are. His key strengths are his fast and healthy jungle clear post level 3, strong objective control, reliable ganks post level 6, insane team fighting ability, and he is strong at all points in the game. There are more strengths in addition to these, of course, that will be explained in depth throughout the video. One other key strength to Brand that I think is important to mention is that due to Brand being an unconventional and underplayed jungler, I almost always find myself at an advantage in the games I play with him, due to the fact that most junglers do not get the opportunity to play against Brand often. Therefore, I almost always have more knowledge on the matchups and win conditions for Brand than my opponents do. Some of his key weaknesses are, he struggles versus assassins, has no gap closer, he's susceptible to invades, has a linear first jungle clear, and he requires some sort of frontline to be played effectively. While those seem like a significant amount of weaknesses, it is important to remember that when you break it down, every champion has plenty of strengths and weaknesses, and it is about how you play towards your strengths while minimizing your weaknesses. When played effectively, Brand can be one of the highest damage and best teamfighting junglers available in the game. Before I get into the specifics of Brand Jungle, I think it is important to explain the basics on how Brand works in general. If you already have a good understanding of his kit, you can skip this part, although you might learn something you didn't know. When Brand hits a target with an ability, he sets the target ablaze, dealing damage over time for 4 seconds. This effect can stack up to 3 times. Once you have reached 3 stacks on the target, it detonates during massive AoE damage. Your passive detonation also applies a stack onto nearby enemies. You will not be able to proc the detonation until you at least have 3 abilities. It is important to remember that you can only proc the detonation portion of the passive on large monsters, champions, or epic monsters, but can apply the burn passive to small monsters and minions. In addition, your abilities have unique synergies with targets that are ablaze. When you hit your Q on a target that is ablaze, they are stunned for 1.5 seconds. Your W does 25% increased damage to targets that are ablaze, and your E spreads your passive to nearby targets when used on a target that is already ablaze. Lastly, when your R hits a target that is ablaze, they will be slowed. These additional functions are key to understanding how to clear the jungle properly. The first specific thing I want to go into is the runes I take on brand and why I think they are the best. I often see other brand jungles make the mistake of taking Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest is a rune that takes far too long to come online, and by the time you get value out of it, you are already going to be farther behind than if you just had a different rune page. For Brand Jungle, I have two different rune pages that you will find the most success with. The first one I take is Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Absolute Focus, and Water Walking, with my secondary tree being Cheap Shot and Ravenous Hunter. Lastly, I take Double Adaptive Force and Armor. The reason I take Phase Rush is because without it, Brand has one glaring weakness, and that is his lack of mobility. However, with Phase Rush, you're able to almost completely bypass this problem and kite most junglers in the game. The second rune choice is Electrocute. Just a disclaimer on this rune page, I personally think that this rune page is the better of the two, as it plays more into your strengths as Brand, rather than trying to make up for your weaknesses. But I think using the Phase Rush rune page is much better for players learning how to play Brand, because it makes you a lot safer in game. The rune page is Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Ravenous Hunter, with the secondary being Nimbus Cloak and Absolute Focus. With this tree, I like to take Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Armor, 
but you can still take double adaptive if you prefer that. Electrocute gives you insane burst damage and makes your kill potential early game significantly better. Simply put, this is just the highest damage rune page possible, but it will require better positioning on your end to make it work. Experiment with both and find out which works best for you since both are great options. With the runes explained, let's get into how to properly clear the jungle. This is not going to be a guide on jungle pathing in general, but rather some tips and tricks on how to do the different camps as brand specifically. First off, I always start red and I always start Q. Your Q does slightly more damage and has a slightly lower cooldown, so you will save yourself an extra auto by taking Q level 1. However, if there is an invade, I usually take W for the AoE damage. There are two significant clears, which I will show you now. After killing red, you're going to go straight to your blue buff, but first you take your W and use it in the center of the raptors. The reason you do this is because your hunter's talisman will continue to reproc itself every time your passive burns, which means you will effectively be healed to full off of the raptors. It is a little tricky to hit all the raptors with your W, but with some practice, you will find the sweet spot. When you go to your blue, kite it as much as possible. A little tip is that you want to use your W on the blue, and wait until your burn is just barely about to run out, and then before it does, hit the camp with your Q. This maximizes your burn damage, and still allows you to get your Q stun off. Next, do the Gromp and get level 3. What you do next with this clear is a matter of a few choices. You can either look to gank from here, or you can go to wolves and path back to your red side. This clear is the riskier of the two, because if you can't get a good gank, you can be set pretty far behind. This is the path you want to take if you have really strong gank set up in the two lanes around your blue side. If you don't think you can get a gank off, or you don't think that you will win 2v2, you should not do this clear. The next clear is the one I would suggest for most players, as it is the one that leads to more consistency. Basically, you do red, the Krugs, then raptors, and finally go to blue. After blue, hit the scrying orb and try to find the enemy jungler. If it looks like they can't contest you at Scuttle, go ahead and take it, but if they can contest you, then you need to go directly to the other one. The idea with this clear is that Brand doesn't have a very reliable early game. If you miss your stun, your ganks in early fighting won't work out well. With this clear, you can focus on clearing the hard camps early and getting stronger before looking for plays. The one main weakness of this clear is that since you are spending a lot of time on your red side, you may get invaded on your blue side. To counteract this, you want to place a ward in your blue side pixel brush at 45 seconds. After you place the ward, go back to base and grab yourself a sweeper. That ward will spot anyone who tries to invade you immediately, as well as give you a sweeper for early ganks. Once again, this is going to be trial and error, but these are the two best clears on brand. Next, I will quickly show you how to clear each camp once you have level 3. Single target camps are all the same. You E, Q, and then W for max damage and safety. For wolves, you want to Q the big wolf, E it, and then W. This will do max damage to the camp. Also, you will never have to auto the small wolves, as this combo will always kill them. Raptors, you want to do the same thing as wolves, but here is how you do it. Lastly, the EQW combo works on Krugs, but after I proc my passive, I usually spike the big Krug because it takes too long to clear. As a bonus little tip, here is the most efficient way to push a wave on Brand. The last thing I will touch on in this video is the build. First off, I always go Blue Smite Rinnick Echoes. Blue Spike can help proc Phase Rush or Electrocute, and is just better overall for kiting. Sorcerer Shoes are usually what I go after I get Runic Echoes, and then I build into Leandre's Torment. Once you get Leandre's, you're going to be strong no matter how far behind you are. The item just synergizes so well with Brand that it is by far your most valuable item. Sometimes I take a Dark Seal early before I finish Runic Echoes, and if I get really fed I upgrade it to Magos, but outside of that, your first two items and boots will always be the same. After the core items, I usually will either go Zonyas or Morello. Zonyas is the most common third item for me, 
because you have no survivability in your kit, so this makes up for it. Basically, you can decide between three items depending on what you need for the game. You can either go Zonios, Morello, or Void Stuff, depending on what you need and when. I rarely build Death Gap outside of an occasional last item purchase, because Brand's AP scaling is one of the worst in League of Legends. Because these other items will just provide more value. Also, to a lot of people's surprise, I never build Rylize. The reality is you just don't need it since Brand's are already slows. The other items I mentioned are just much better uses of your gold. That is going to conclude the ultimate brand jungle guide. There are obviously many more nuanced things that I could touch on, but to spare this video from being an hour long, I will save those for future videos. Most of the core fundamentals you will need in order to play brand jungle were covered in this video, but if you have more questions, I will try to answer them in the comments. If you are interested in brand jungle, which I assume you are since you made it this far, be sure to subscribe because this will be your one-stop shop for all things Brand Jungle related. This video took a shit ton of time to make, so please like the video, and until next time, you've been electrified.